So the jailbreak for the PS4 on 11.00 or lower has been out for some time now. But even today, I'm still seeing people having issues. Now, there is a few model numbers that are a lot harder to jailbreak than others. It's not as simple as one device fits all. Or is there? Well, in this video, we're going to be looking at an updated jailbreak kit, the 2.0 Pro. So without further delay, let's dive in. Now there's tons of ways to jailbreak your PS4. You can use a PC, a laptop, a Raspberry Pi, a rooted Android phone, hell you can even use a router or a smart TV. But one of the most convenient ways, I think, is using one of these little jailbreak devices. Now there's loads of PS4 jailbreak kits online, Amazon, AliExpress, etc. But what one do you go for? Well, we're looking at one today that does 9.00 and 11.00, and then it's got a switch that goes between IPv4 and IPv6, and that should be fine for those consoles that have just been a little bit more difficult refusing to jailbreak. Now, the kit that you get isn't much different to the one we reviewed before, but again, we're gonna do that unboxing and have a look to see what's included in the kit. So as always, there'll be links to Amazon and AliExpress in the description below, so you can pick one up for yourself. But as with the other kit we reviewed, it comes in a plain white box. Now, there's quite a few things here, so let's go through them. You have some instructions, which do actually include that new switch that they've got to go from A to B. So this is going to tell you everything you need to know. So let's take a look at the main device itself. Now, it looks very similar to the old one. 4P4 9.0 or 11.0. And then on either side, there is nothing. If we have a look, it has a USB-C port and on the other side, it has an Ethernet port. On the bottom of the device, we can see there's two switches, one to go between 9.0 and 11.0, and then the one at the top goes between A and B. So according to the instructions, A mode is the default one. So give that one a go first. Then if that's not successful, flip that switch over to B and then give it another go. Now, as you can see, we get our ethernet cable, which is nice and short and handy to get it all connected up. In this bag, we've got the power cable for the device, which is a USB-A to USB-C. And then we do have a USB memory stick, which has the gold hen payload on it. Now, opening the device up to get a closer look at the PCB, we can see that it's actually got the Rock chip RV1103G1 chip on it which is very similar to other microcontrollers of this price point. Now, while we're on the subject of PCBs, it makes a great segue to today's sponsor, PCBWay. Now, I'm sure you all know who PCBWay are. You design your own circuit board, you send them the files, and they bring your ideas to life at really competitive prices. They don't only do circuit boards, they'll also 3D print your STL files. So let's take a look at it in action. As you know, I designed the Luxfox Pico case. So let's drag and drop that STL file across and you can find this file on Thingiverse. Again, link in the description. We're gonna set it to PLA and we want one. And then of course you can change the colors if you so wish. Then all we need to do is submit the request and then hit agree. And then what will happen is a member of the PCB Way team will have a look at your STL file, make sure there's no issues with it. And once they've approved it, you can then proceed to the checkout and order your print. So I just want to thank PCB Way for being today's sponsor. So as you've seen, the kit is pretty much like the other one, but you have that switch to go from A and B, IPv4, IPv6. Now, unfortunately, I don't have a PS4 that's struggling to jailbreak because my PS4 Slim works from the PC, the Luck Fox, one of these kits, uh, Raspberry Pi. Basically, I have no problems whatsoever. But this is where you guys come in. So what I'm looking for, I'm looking for someone in the UK 
that's got a PS4 and you've tried to jailbreak it in the past. Maybe it's a newer pro model and you're just really struggling with it. You can't get it to jailbreak, but it is on 11.00. Drop me a comment below and you can be the guinea pig. I will send this device to you and get you to try it out and see if you can successfully jailbreak your PS4. If it works for you, congratulations, you can just keep it. I just want the feedback, the information and then what I'll do is I'll put a pinned comment in this video basically letting everyone else know how we go on. So I think that about wraps it up for this video but if you enjoy my content do me a favour and subscribe. Like the video, I'd really appreciate it. I'm JP, you've been watching Alien Gaming and as always, I'll catch you in the next one.